parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the podcast that never sleeps. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 373. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to get mayhem with you. First of all, in the studio is Larry, Mutilator Larry, Larry, in What's the studio up? with us, with a podcast dog on the couch beside him, aka Chad the Shad. He's <laughs> Chad the Mutt. Chad the Mutt. Chad the Mutt, just just chilling there. His, his ears are peeking up. You can kind of see him over the title there. How you doing? Me or the dog? Uh, 205 Live, actually. <laughs> oh, 205 Live? I uh, <laughs> turned it off. Cedric uh, Alexander was facing a jobber, and I lost interest. Oh, well, we got to build him up. But they opened with uh, Sasha Banks and uh, Rich Swan. So yeah. That was pretty yeah. Yeah, it was So good. it was getting kind of like 90s divas yeah, hair yeah. pulling. Yeah. It got, yeah. Oh, we- weaves went flying. Oh, boy. I'm glad um, we're keeping it classy over on 205. Yeah. Also, keeping it classy up at Pooh, Kipsy, New York. It is Mad Mike. Oh, Sorg, we are ready to talk about some wrestle and some mayhem and some show. Also, back with us from his new location in Monongahela, PA? Is very that good. It? Yes. Yes. Very good, Sorg. Yes. Uh, south here of Pittsburgh is Wheels, a sound guy over at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. I'm back. And to quote Mike. I'm back, bitches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome wheels, back. Wheels. I just want to let you know, um, from now until infinity, I will call that city Monopoly, Pennsylvania. Monopoly, Pennsylvania. Yes. So can I be the, the Monopoly guy? Yes. You need okay. a monocle or a yes. top hat. And a top hat. That seems right. Yeah. That absolutely seems yeah. right, actually. I don't know yeah. if he had a monocle or not. That might uh, have been the peanut guy. No, no, I think I would. No, the, the, the rich. And if, and if you go to jail, you're not allowed to pass go. No, 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 no. Also, hey, shouts to our boy Eamon um, down there in Dallas, Texas. I actually got to uh, meet with Eamon uh, in Texas. He's visited us a couple of times, of course, here in Pittsburgh. Uh, so hang out with him uh, a little bit in my layover there while I was uh, heading, heading out for work this week. So uh, shout out to them, uh, and I uh, hope everybody's doing awesome down there in Texas. Uh, so uh, with that, hey, uh, check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. This is in the wrong document. Um, and you can drop us a line at that email address. Good, Good times. times! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. And uh, some people message me as well, personally, on Facebook. That's cool. That's all right. Uh, so uh, hopefully I'll touch on a couple of those things tonight, too. Um, or sometimes they give out my phone number uh, personally in the chat room. So if you can catch that, too, that's that's something that happens. <laughs> and if you didn't catch that, that's 412. No, 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 no. <laughs> I honestly just know Let's the make them work for it. Let's make them work for it. Give them the number to slice on Broadway. You know what's weird? When you're in, you're someplace else... <laughs> And you say 412 really quick because you expect everybody to know it because that's your home area code. And you yeah. say it, spout it out to everybody. Then you realize, like, I'm in Kansas. Nobody knows what that number is I just said. They're like 834. Or yeah, it's just like, like what's wrong with your number? Um, any, but anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, sorry. Do they, did they think that you weren't in Kansas anymore? I don't know. Oh. what. I don't even know. They knew they were in Kansas, some of the people I talked to. But anyways. Um, I just I got yelled at like two, not yelled at, but just like shouted at. I don't know if it was unfriendly, but I couldn't understand <laughs> them. One I thought said something about a catalytic a, a converter, and I don't even know. But anyways, I, I don't know if it's a Kansas thing or what. Uh, but uh, I'm learning about new cultures. Um, where was I? We talked about that. What's well, Patreon.com? 
Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can support the show. Uh, thank you to our friends that support us over there. Uh, of course, uh, Bo Diggity. Woo! Woo! Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Alex Cars, Christopher Bishop, uh, Tina Keys, Bobby F. J. Town, and I think I'm missing a couple in there. Uh, but thank you everybody in there for uh, the sh- the sh- you know shout outs and, and giving to the show uh, as well. We really do appreciate it. It helps uh, it helps pay the bills around the show a little bit uh, as we do this and, uh, and 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 help build some stuff up. Uh, and, and so and you don't have to pay. You don't have to get into the Patreon necessarily. Uh, but uh, we do give you some goodies if you do do that. And uh, it's not it's you know we ask for like a buck a month and or whatever you want to give. Uh, if you, if, if, we really appreciate people uh, uh, finding that value in the show. But please share the show, share it with a friend, contribute to the show. Drop in our Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Drop in the chat room here live every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern time, or uh, check out when we're live. Otherwise, uh, for instance, this week uh, we are currently scheduled. Uh, we we're supposed to have um, uh, Mike. We were supposed to have on. Eric Van Wagner. Eric Van Wagner of Lucha Underground to talk about some actual. Uh, the, WWE kind of related stories actually, and uh, that is now happening at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, and Vin Gerard should be joining us at 4:30. So look for that on the Facebook. You'll get a little preview of Indie Mayhem show uh, of the next two weeks being recorded there. Uh, and uh, and who knows what else we'll go live with? Sometimes intermissions at wrestling shows, sometimes other things. I don't know. Maybe we'll go live at Chachi's bachelor party this weekend. Uh, you never know oh, what's going to happen. We're going live. <laughs> oh, we're going. We're going. Live. We're going live, Sorgatron. <laughs> it's going live in New York City. Uh, so, hashtag Chachi Takes Manhattan is the official hashtag of our trip this weekend, oh, by the way. Oh, yes, it is. I didn't even think of that. Chachi yes, Takes Manhattan. Right. There you go. Uh, but not all of it, because we want him to still get married. I want to give a shout out to Tina. Okay. Thank you so very much. I did check the Twitter DMs, and that is an amazing Sad Enzo picture. So, oh, we got a sad Enzo. Oh, I gotta check that out. Awesome. We'll, we'll we'll get the photoshops going. So let's get into uh uh the things for this week. <laughs> wrestling, 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 wrestling. Um, I, I guess we should address cons- that you know sad Enzo is is something we started last night on 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 uh, raw wrap up, and there's the the great mystery of who keeps um beating up Enzo, or as I keep saying, who keeps throwing um Enzo down the stairs. Um, because that's the feeling I'm yep. getting after two weeks of this. But like mm-hmm. Enzo, why are you always falling in the stuff? Uh, you know, maybe it's like a, a deeper problem than than we're seeing that's interrupting Corey Graves with his text messages. So, so Mike, we we kind yeah. of started our own conspiracy theory around this. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people think it might be the revival. A lot of people think it might be Big Cass. I think that this is an opportunity. And that, wait, 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 I'm sorry, because you mentioned something. I want to pull that back. I don't think it's the revival because the revival is obviously working on their new rap album <laughs> with that sweet, <laughs> that, sweet grill that, that he's rocking. That oh, is man. that is true. Um, it, um, I believe Dash Wilder actually just lays down some funky beats. <laughs> they and some funky, funky beats. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No flips, just grills. That's the title of their album, Sork. That's no flips, just grills. That's funny because Drew Gulak's on right now. <laughs> See, <laughs> it's all and Drew Drew Gulak. Spoiler alert: does the backing track. There you go. Their there you go. It's, it's, it's their hype man. It's their hype yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, I think Drew. I think it, I think hypothetically, if I had a rap group again, Drew Gulak would be my hype man. I think so. I, I mean, think it's appropriate. <laughs> Has signs on stage, kind of like Pakalika and Commonwealth Kings, R.I.P. Uh, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking this idea. All right. Uh, so so anyway, back to back, back to, to the answer. concept. Back to this deep yeah. concept we're getting to. All right. So I, I think WWE has an opportunity here. I, I think they I think they have an opportunity to say something about about general wellness. Um, uh, maybe, about the general maybe mental wellness. Well, mental wellness, you know, men, the mental health of this country. I, I think that he has an opportunity. They always like to be topical. And I think the person that should be attacking Enzo Amore every week backstage is Enzo Amore. Because I have a feeling he's deeply depressed. And, and Sorg and I kind of, kind of worked up this last night. And Sorg, um, would, would you like to be Cass in, in this? And, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll play it out. Um, okay. All right. 
Sure. All right. All right. Uh, just just roll with me on this one. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, by the way, I apologize for my Enzo Mori impression. I've oh. been trying to talk like a Jersey douchebag all day. Has not worked. <laughs> um, my my apology <clears throat> goes without que- without question here. <clears throat> hey, hey, you guess. Um, I I I got something to tell you. Well, 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 well how, how you doing, little buddy? No, no, see, see, that's the th- that's the thing, Cass. Um, you know, I ain't doing too good. Uh, you oh, see, yeah, wait, wait, what's, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? You you haven't you having trouble uh, uh, cleaning your chains? Uh, nah, no, nah, it's, it's not it's not the chains, and it's not the chains. Yes, it's, uh, is, is it is it is it is it, is it you got dirt on your, your sweet kicks? Nah, nah. I mean, you you seen the snap? You know it ain't my kicks. Um. See, I, I come out here on Raw every week, and I ask the people, you know, how you doing? And you know, you know what, Cass? No one ever asked me how I'm doing. And uh, I gotta tell you, I ain't doing that good. Like, um, and I know, I know, I know you're there for me, Cass. I know you've been trying to figure out who's been attacking me. Um, to tell you the truth, I, I cost us the tag titles. I, I get injured a lot. I, I made I made Lana leave leave Raw and go to SmackDown, and you know I ain't doing that good. And actually, I've been kind of I've been kind of hurting myself a little bit, Cass. Hurting myself a little bit. Hello, Doctor Shelby. A little bit. You know, I mean, I, I it could be a good thing. It could be a good thing, Cass, because you know what? Not I ain't doing that good. And scene. Cue Dr. Shelby skits and hilarity ensues. Yes. Yes. What? Depressed Enzo More is the one attacking Enzo More. Mm-hmm. So that, that, that's, does that count as a violation of the wellness policy? Why? Why is he violating the wellness policy? I don't policy? know. How? I don't know. What is because, the. Because is he's there... not well. He's not like, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jelly. Like I mean, having a cold doesn't violate the wellness policy. Well, right. it should. <laughs> let's let's put it this way: if they bust Enzo for not feeling that great, but Jinder Mahal can be WWE champion, <laughs> we need to we need to rewrite the wellness policy. Why, Jinder? I'm sure Jinder feels fine. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 on he's on cloud nine right now. He's got nothing to feel shitty about. He's gonna feel bad in like a couple of years, but you know, <laughs> well, we'll deal with that lawsuit when we come to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeez, he kind of he, he, wow. That's okay. That's okay. He's Canadian. He's. he's I, I feel he's, bad for Harv and or Gerv Shira. <laughs> Wait, is it really? Is name really Harv? Yeah, Harv and Gerv. Harv Those and Gerv. No wonder they I had different names. So. Wow. Uh, what, what, what's up? I think those are the sounds I made when I was sick. Harv, <laughs> Gerv. <laughs> my, my question is, since he's Canadian and he has access to new Canadian health care. That's what I'm saying. But that's making a huge he's, difference. He's not, I think can, he's, mine. he's not Canadian. He's from Winnipeg. Or what is it? No. Uh, Winnipeg yeah, is in Canada. Win, 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 Winnipeg, Alberta, India. <laughs> Um, oh, well, that's, that's right. Okay. And I'm What's from it? Poughkeepsie, Quebec. Montreal. Was it? Uh, I'm sorry. First, I, I first time, Ontario, first time but... Dan Hooven came out to to um, uh, his his first singles match that I'm aware of. He was announced from Tokyo, New Jersey, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because he's Korean. So, <laughs> but he's got Yokozuna now, syndrome. But then there's like, <laughs> then there, but then and there's like mispronounced Hoboken. Then there was like a kid in the crowd that was like, "Go Tokyo!" <laughs> it's like, all right, he's got fans. Oh, these guys, it was, it was, it was good. Can't, it was good. Can't it was, kill it now. I, I no, no. I, so I, 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 I don't know what he got announced for on the on the other other ones that I completely edited. Um, but anyways, what? So there's that. There's that concept that we got out of last night. A lot of deep stuff happening on Monday Night Raw. Which I well, we we described it off air as as a great two hour show that is unfortunately three three hours and fifteen minutes. And Kurt Angle's got some mystery angle going on, right? They right. need the fashion police over there. <laughs> Seriously, they need right, somebody you know, to crack this case. Do you think? Do you think Kurt's Twitter just got hacked again? <laughs> Why? What happened? Is that what he, what, no, just, what Graves was showing up? I, yeah, I think so. Here's here's your here's your latest mugshot, Kurt. 
Oh, like, he, oh here's when no. you were stalking Rockacon. <laughs> oh no! Oh, those are bad days. Those are bad days. Rockacon. Rockacon. Uh, love you, Kurt. Friend of the show. <laughs> what? Video of him watching TNA. <laughs> Oh, that will ruin anyone's career. Case in point. It is true. That picture. Exhibit A. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? A for angle. Oh. 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 Um, what is Global Force Wrestling? That look, right? Um, oh, God. Don't even give me <laughs> save, save it for Thursday. Wait, That's... it's Tuesday, right? Save it. No, no, we no, shouldn't no, be no, talking no. about that thing that no, makes no, poor no, Mike. No, no. Cringe. Poor, poor Mike. <laughs> poor, poor Mike. Um, oh, I'm going to be able to do that show with you this week. That's good. That's good. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two truths and a lie. Um, <laughs> if you guys want, again, just to throw up, you want to check out Raw. Uh, uh, Mike did not watch Raw. So we played two truths and a lie. I've seen Raw now. You've I've seen, seen, her, seen it now, but he not when we recorded a wrap up last night. So I got to play Two Truths and a Lie on him for monday night raw <laughs> he usually does it for me since i don't watch impact but you can't have solo shows all the time yeah. so i, I, I put one it, it's hard team. to do on the fly isn't it sorry it was really hard to do on the fly i i hope i did an admiral job last night no no you did great good, good. so did you take your glasses off and you were not to mention evil. when i'm not here and there's a there's a an alternative Sorg um, on the show, which I think has happened on this show, actually. Fake Sorg! Fake Sorg here. How you doing, guys? What's up? Oh, let's hi, start. Fake Sorg! Hi. Hi, everyone. All right, let's get back to wrestling. And, and there's another pay-per-view <laughs> coming this weekend that I want to get into, but we're having a lot build up for Money in the Bank. And uh, the announcement tonight was rumored about a week ago, uh, but we are going to have our first Women's Money in the Bank. And it is going to be epic. It's going to be amazing because we just because everybody just got suplexed on the floor, and I don't know how it got there, but it was amazing when I realized something was going on and I started paying attention. Natalia got power bombed through the announcer table. Yeah, not the easy yes. way. Not no. the easy the only, way. No. The only thing that kind of sucks about this, and I mean, it's going to be a good match. The only thing that kind of sucks, we've had. We're going to have two SmackDown pay-per-views in a row without a women's style match. Yes. That is, yeah, that's kind of not okay. But we're also going to have two pay-per-views in a row without a universal title match. So. Well, yeah, it's, I was going to say. We're going to have a lot of pay-per-views <laughs> not in a row that, without Not to title. say that Naomi is Brock Lesnar. True. But Naomi is kind of Brock Lesnar. Yeah, she's kind, of get, she's kind of getting screwed out of this. She's not getting a title match, and she's missing the first ever Money in the Bank match. Yeah, it would just you know, are they going to do something? Is somebody going to step in and, and have a title match with her? Is she going to be in a mixed tag? Is she going to just be on commentary? The weird thing is, like, like the match on SmackDown was supposed to determine a number one contender. Yeah, um, Money in the Bank doesn't determine a number one contender. No, it doesn't. Does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Like, and this is speculation. If Lana comes back, and maybe Naomi goes against Lana. Oh God! I, I'm just, I'm just saying. No, no. Personally, me Lana. personally, I don't, I don't think Rusev and Lana are showing up until after the Stanley Cup playoffs. Exactly. That's why we have <laughs> gotten just, quiet. I don't. I just think. I just think they're not. I think Rusev's gonna be like, now nah, I'm gonna watch the Preds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is like, I, I just, I love how Americanized Rusev has become. <laughs> Like the dude is like seriously from Bulgaria, right? So um, he's big Bartholomew Sorg. He has a farm <laughs> with the cows and farm. the chickens. Yep. <laughs> Side note tonight. Side note tonight. Um, and Tina, uh, Tina's saying that Natty looked like she was hurt. Yeah, I, she I, might I, not. Again, I, I, you know, again, until I see a report. <laughs> It was a good looking power. Bomb. It was a good looking. She's one. supposed to be on Talking Smack tonight. We'll see if she has a limp. So, um, so uh, or is bleeding internally, or is, or excuse me, <laughs> tell me how that bleeding internally is going. You know, she just coughs up blood <laughs> all over the table. Yep. Sorry, then, Renee. Sorry, Renee. Sorry, it's gonna, it's gonna Eric like Rowan. Sorry to clean it up. Sorry about the your, janitor. Sorry about your shirt, Renee. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry yeah. about your wig, Renee. It's your wig. Your wig. She wears a wig. She wears a wig. Are you telling me she's bald? No, I'm saying she has shorter hair, but she wears a longer wig now. That's weird. Why would you do that? 
Is it an actual um, wig or is it like hair extensions? That. Is this a woman? Thing? I is I assume I assume it's an actual wig or a weave or something similar to okay. it. It's not extensions. This is an unacceptable segue. Mm-mm. She she has said <laughs> wig on that. That's why Naomi listen, is always threatening listen, to snatch people. Nene's hair is real to me. Damn it! That, that's that's incorrect. <laughs> That's just incorrect. All right. Um, also, um, I, I so the 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 I almost said the mega pliers because that's what's in front of me on the screen. Uh, the the uh, fashion police uh, had yes. went a new direction tonight. Um, and I got <laughs> yes, this. I, I got this feel. Which what the cross dressings continued. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which. I worried a little bit that we're getting in, we're going to get into big veto territory with Tyler oh, Breeze. No. Um, I okay. I mean, which I mean, it's hilarious. Don't get me wrong, but you know, sorry, gender is fluid now, <laughs> and so is Tyler Breeze. It's a different world than it was when Big Vito was crossed. That is true. That is true. Um, but uh, but it, it it it's it's a fun segment, and and I feel like I feel a little bit like this segment wouldn't happen if it wasn't for Southpaw Regional Wrestling. Oh, none of this would be happening if it wasn't for Southpaw. No. Are you kidding me? Fandango was the best part of Southpaw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And and I'm, not, and he, I'm yeah. not even... And he said that so little. He said so little. So, I mean, that was a nice audition tape for everybody, I, I feel like. Um, so maybe not so much for some others that were on there. So, like, TJ, <laughs> TJP did not really stick out, for instance. I, well, let's I still want to see the the Ascension just drop the entire Ascension gimmick and be the surf dudes with oh attitudes. Oh, my God. Can we do, like, like I'm hoping there's a Halloween episode where just everybody comes out as their Southpaw character. I, I wish we could just, like, instead of doing Great Balls of Fire, just have Bash at the Beach... And I want the surf dudes with attitudes versus the broken hardies. Like, just, just give me that. Like, can we? And that would be maybe, awesome. I want Vanguard One riding a damn surfboard. Can we at some point maybe just do a Southpaw wrestling like special, like the uh, the, the this old day wrestling that they're doing over in Ohio and Illinois, and uh, the, 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 the I think Marion Fontaine is. I, I know our, our, our friends with Mega Pliers were just involved with that uh, uh, this weekend or last, uh, where they come out and it's like old timey thirties like characters and everything, right? But in this case, it would be like late eighties regional wrestling, right? And yeah. they just like maybe maybe they do it at full sale, and they do it, um, you know, so so you don't have to worry about audiences or anything as a controlled. You're not doing it in an actual like bingo hall or or armory or something, right? But you can dress it up to look like the shitty armory. You know, like mm-hmm. like put the janitor stuff in the corner and and all this stuff. Basically, not dress up the set, right? Yeah, and, and, and you and do it and literally put the announce the like the announce booth in full view of the ring. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like you're you're taking shots of the announcers as much as you are what's happening in the ring, right? And, and you just everybody comes out. They are those characters. They do their thing. It's it's I would would. Are 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 are, are Cena and Fandango's character? You think announcers at that yes. point? Like like so yes. like I know they were doing the kind of presentation for the show, but are they the ringside announcers as well? The, I think so. Sorg, if it, if it goes by how um, old NWA shows used to be in AWA shows, they are the announce team. And Fandango mm-hmm. yells at the guy who rings the bell too loud. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, like oh, how, you woke me up. Like it's something that they can do that doesn't cost them a lot of money. I, I'm not gonna lie. I really wish next year was a leap year. <laughs> <laughs> when is the next leap year? Five years not till from now. not till 2020. Until 2020, awesome. man. I can't yeah. wait that long for a South. So, I, I mean, mean can we? We, uh, we could. We could do a real long con, a real slow burn, <laughs> like no. a three year build. For Chad, too bad versus Texas. No, I think in this case, I'm I think, okay with that. I think in you in this case, whenever you have it, it is leap, leap like whatever, whenever in the year you have it, it is lethal leap year. It is 1987. It is whatever that is, right? Because mm-hmm. you you just when you step into the show, you're in a time warp, right? But sort sort, wouldn't it be better if there's one character? It's like a time traveler and just took all of them to the future. 
Hmm. <laughs> like took all of them from 1987 and just brought them to 2020. That was a good year. <laughs> Can we have a Survivor Series match? Like I and Where? I want it to be Cesaro. I okay, want so, Cesaro to be future Trump. So so so, <laughs> so so what if it's it's it's, it's like but so they come from the past, they're in the future, uh-huh. and the uh-huh. ones that come to the future are a Survivor Series team. Oh, yes. And okay. the other side, uh-huh. you have Heath Slater and Rhino and Brizango. Excuse me. That is, mm. is, no, he, Heath Slater can't be in there because Pelvis Wesley Ferguson. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. I'm trying to think who isn't in it. But anyways. All right. <laughs> we gotta move. This Pel- is a good concept. I, I, really, Johnson, I do want to kind of roll with this this concept a little bit more. So we'll, 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 let's workshop this a little bit in a thread over on the uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group. So um, what what was that thing? Oh, uh, can we talk about my favorite segment last night? <laughs> This it better your, not be what I think you're about to say. Which I think is all. No, no, not this is your life. <laughs> not, not that one. Okay, one bit, thank you. Which is yeah, also uh, uh, Billy's uh, favorite segment in the chat room here. Um, who's uh, so so? Uh, I'm coming around on our truth again. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so so just this that we've completely gone back to without the, the you know basically minus the sexual innuendos. Yeah. We uh, have so like far. 1997 gold dust, right? Yes, fully. Like the Hollywood gold dust is there, right? I'm expecting a backlog, backlog brawl with yes. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, uh, Noam Dar because he's the only Scottish one I can think of. Um, at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> Although, no, hold that no, back. No, hold no, that back. Great balls of fire. Great, great balls of fire. Okay, no, <laughs> yes. that, that works. That works for me. Yes. Okay, okay. No, no, this, main let's, eventing. let's make this happen. He's um, main eventing it. Uh, uh, he's main eventing. Sword, no, sorry. You know who else you could do? Drew McIntyre. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Because I was like going to go like Seamus. I'm like that doesn't make sense. Um, Why not our truth? Why can't he be Scottish? <laughs> because he doesn't look good in a kilt. We've tried it. Really? We have. No, I'm kidding. You sure? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, like wait, in Photoshop was I? or like I, I don't know. He he might have worn like a, a something around his waist when he was K quick. He might be part Scottish. Good. No, I'm not saying Piper <laughs> for obvious factual reasons. Um, in the chat, sorry. Uh, so he did. He, he did. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Oh. It's too soon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, is it? I have yes. to interrupt this train of thought because Why? Ed Burke <laughs> just made my night. Why? Uh-oh. I tweeted out, Uh-oh. Dear WWE, give us a Halloween special where you give us a Southpaw wrestling holiday show for a night. And he, Ed Burke tweeted, What dark gods must I sacrifice to make this happen? <laughs> Tell me, WWE, <laughs> and I will make it happen. <laughs> Um, that would be the dark god Mil Mortis. Maybe the maybe the <laughs> no 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 no. I think I think you just need to tweet Mil the no Mortis. no no. You have Wrong to tw- company. You have to tweet the dark god Vince Russo. And uh... <laughs> no no no. Excuse me, Mil Mortis is a much better answer <laughs> because Mil Mortis yes, is actually sacrificed yes, for the But I mean, business. what makes you feel darker than Vince Russo? Um, literally anything um, else. <laughs> Anyway, really Jim Cornette, else. I'd say Eric Bischoff. <laughs> this is good. I get, and, I, and I think there was another suggestion that came up when we were talking about this before. But Tina's saying how gold does you have to complete the package and, and you can have Mandy Rose as the new Marlena. I think um, we were throwing out some no, other I, ones, weren't we? Summer Ray. Summer Ray. Yeah, Summer I think we were Ray, calling I for want the Golden Summer. That's right. The that's right. We did a summer wrap up a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I agree. There needs to be a new Marlena. Yeah, absolutely. Because women's directors are all the rage now, you guys. Man, wouldn't it be amazing? <laughs> wouldn't it be amazing? Females are strong as hell. <laughs> I just need to watch that season three. Uh, I, I, wouldn't it be amazing if we did bring back and we we brought together? Because I don't think they've been divorced technically, Oksana. <laughs> oh, oh, somewhere. Bobby just got an erection. He does not know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just, I'm just saying. Somewhere that's happened. And Bobby's like, head, he's "What's like, going saying, on?" He's saying his recliner. He's just going like, "Who?" <laughs> <laughs> There's a disturbance in the forest somewhere. Now, I 
Oh, hey, wait, 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 wherever he's at, wherever he's at, the saxophone place. Right. I, need, I need to point out. I'm what, sorry, all women that listen to the, the show. The topic that we're talking about right now. Yes. Katie just joined the chat room. Welcome, Katie. Yes! I think that this, she had some sort of like. Her, her ears were burning. Beacon that she knew that this is what we were talking about. So she joined in. I can't. Oh, I can't remember the last time we've talked about erections on this show, so... This is uh, it was probably yeah. last week. It was probably, probably last week. <laughs> like, I mean, in, in some <laughs> fashion. All right, let's bring it around, because Tina had no, a good no, no, point. No, 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 I, 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 I just want to bring it around and, and, and do something for the ladies, because Tina had a good point, and I feel like we owe yes. them something right now. Um, <laughs> t- 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 <laughs> uh, Tina pointed out that Tamina, Bailey, and Naya are the only natural ones there, just saying. You know, I... I She's referring to hair swing. She, yeah, yeah, that's okay. why I'm. I, I, uh, yes, okay, I figured, you know. So I, you never, I'm just clarifying, clarifying. Okay, okay. because it was, it was it was it was a while back. We're we're coming back around to it. I mean, I don't have good hair dar. So wait, is she talking about hair or is she talking about breast implants? I think we're talking about hair. I, I'm pretty sure I we're think, talking. About I hair. assume it was hair. Yes. I assumed it was hair because yes. that's where the conversation was. We we don't talk about breast implants. You know. They can do whatever they want. It's We're not that good. kind of a show. Yeah. Okay, no, we are respectful to the women. Okay, not we anymore, don't talk about their it. boobies anymore <laughs> on this show. <laughs> anymore. That's back in the day. That's, exactly. That's when we were a young podcast of 150 episodes. Back when Lawler was announcing. Back when Lawler was announcing, and we didn't mind it so much. Um. So there's yeah, a. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not that. Long. I think this is Gold, uh, Goldust's retirement push man this is oh, I, yeah i think so you think, I think it's you gone. know what the way things are going like i i think dude, i think guy gets an intercontinental championship before the end of the year oh yeah <laughs> or something at least oh, well, right dude um hello we have a built-in feud Him and hollywood the director versus a list oh. actor oh. Yep. or or do we have a new partnership nah. no 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 I, I think that i think that's a feud no, nope. with I think that's a few. But you gotta turn Miz face on that point. No, I think, yeah, you? I think you go Miz heel heel. Yeah, yeah, you can do heel heel. Miz is gonna get the Golden Globes. It, if truth <laughs> is the buffer in, if truth is the buffer in between there, because if you guys remember, the awesome truth was also a thing. Yeah, Miz and our truth, they have a history too. Okay. Our truth mm. is gonna join the Titus brand. <laughs> <laughs> wow i'm not saying a word <laughs> what's happening i was i was doing something like that our truth is gonna join the titus brand oh, oh uh, God. no Cause, no, cause then no it, let's then it not turns, do that it turns into what we thought the new day was going to be oh because <laughs> i mean when the new day started we're just like is this our nation of the de- domination oh. is this what's happening are we getting our new nation we've wanted for 10 years there, but Cause, cause, okay. i mean we've been calling for a new nation of domination since we started this show so it's 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 <laughs> Just kind Smack of down race wars, fight, fight, fight. Smack Smack down down race wars, black, white, flash and police. I just want to point out, I'm pretty sure Wheels was, was singing that too. So that's, I just yes. want to just to yes, I was, I was singing it. Um, oh yeah. yeah, yes, yes. Um, so there's a paper. I mean, if Jinder Mahal is champion, we're kind of there again. <laughs> yep, anything can happen. We're back in the '80s. Slide and note. 90s. Also, I want my own applause section to follow me around like that. That was that was. Pretty I don't know. I still I want to see the Bollywood boys wrestle. Yeah, I know. I know. Why yeah. have Why have they not wrestled yet? Hey, man, you remember when like the Edge heads were just falling around Edge? That worked out well for them. Yeah, that worked, I mean, eventually it worked out well for them. Well, that worked out well for one of them. It did. It did. It did. Um, Which one? Zack Ryder. Zach. Zach no, Zach Ryder. You think it's working out well for him right I now? I think Zack Ryder, um, not Zach now, Ryder, but... Zack Ryder won the Intercontinental title in a ladder match at Wrestle Freaking Mania. Yeah. I think he's fine. He built his ass up on the internet and yeah. became U.S. champion and pretty much kept his job. I guess. Right? Yep. I mean, yeah. Zack Ryder's doing okay. I know you're like, eh, Zack Ryder is Zack Ryder, but he got he got new blood and, with the Mojo Rawley thing, the Hype Bros. Unfortunately, got injured. Of course, he's. And he's, by the way, uh, they got the name from me. <laughs> yep, he's, they get, they I mean, me. he's hanging out with Chelsea Green. Dude is doing okay. 
Uh, it's 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 fine. It's okay. fine. Oh. Um, what's up? Uh, Billy got back to your question. Yeah, what was what, uh, some guy trashed Gold Dust by calling him a jobber? Cody listed all of his titles and fired back at the guy. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, well Goldust, nice. he's yeah. a jobber now, but Goldust back in the day was definitely not a jobber. No, he's not even, a jobber. No, no, no. He's, he's a jobber like Mark Henry's a jobber. Yeah, he's not a jobber. He's just just, putting over just the other because guys. you're not, just because you're not in a title picture doesn't mean you're a jobber, right? Not everybody like like Breezango. Well, no, I'm saying I'm saying before he turned, right? Before he turned, he was a jobber. It, he was enhancement talent. No, no, it was they they they. they as was pointed out, it's not like they lost every match. Like we, they had one of the winningest records in the tag division. If you looked at live shows, you know what I mean. Like they okay, were. But, but Sorg, how shows don't count. Kurt Angle even said their win loss records. I, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> how shows are not canon unless they unless we want them to be. But still, it, it's not like they didn't have value on the show. They had a place on the show, and it wasn't just to be the guys that got beat, like like the Colons these days. You can um, have value Collins. on the show and be a jobber. Yeah, the I know. <laughs> Is that because they're the shit? Uh, uh, it's their names. That's colognes. It's because colognes. They're the colognes. <laughs> colognes are just a bunch of assholes. So <laughs> clones, colognes, colognes. Why do I think it's... <laughs> Give me a pen. Give me a pen. I need a pen. Because I need to write colognes. So I remember it. Colognes. Colognes. You, you need to put an, an accent. Clones. An accent. Clones. <laughs> Colognes. Accente. Not assholes. Well, they are assholes, All right. but... All right, I want to tape this right here. All right. Not literally. There's something there. Okay. Da, da, da. Uh, something... Wait, what the fuck is this? Ed Burke, so be it. The altar is prepared. Uh, blood... The mm-hmm. blood has been offered. The compact is sealed. Woe, yep. woe betide those who break his oath. What are these pictures of Mil Mortes being awesome? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's Bill. It's a picture of he Mil Mortes. Has... Wait, wait, wait. It's a. And... It's a picture of Mil Mortes, and then he has, um, he has assistant magic cards to make it, <laughs> to 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 make it. Uh, uh, um, and I, I'm not a magic player, but uh, Ashnod's altar, which is an artifact. To sacrifice a creature and and sign in blood a se- a sorcery stat. Uh, target player drops two cards. I don't think that applies here, but still, holy shit! Tweet of the week. Um, Sorg Sorg Ed Burke asked me what dark gods he had to sacrifice to. I responded, No Marthas. Man, then he yep. took he took that. That, to, that is the answer. He took that, that to a answer. level I have never seen before. Can this be the show art for this week? Is is Mil Mortes and magic good. cards? Yes. I think you need to bring it up tomorrow the, during your interview. The dark, okay. the dark gods. <laughs> you, like, listen, listen, listen. Did you guys pray when we when we talk to to Eric tomorrow on on for Indie Mayhem show? Be like, listen. Did you guys uh, make an oath to Bill Mortes to get the ratings that you get in on Netflix? Because because <laughs> you have been a phenomenon and it's unexplainable other than being awesome in general. And we think that you uh, sold your souls to Bill Mortes. Um, show us, show us your cards. Sork, your, Sork, your, he has show us your cards. Show us your cards. Your magic cards. Um, he has glowing eyes in the trailer. Sorg, I need to know why. I didn't even watch the trailer yet because I still need to watch eyes. season three. Uh, but, but, uh, and I'm not getting done by Wednesday. <laughs> um, that sounds like a challenge to me. Sork. Oh fuck! I need to get work done, <laughs> sleep, and all that. Um. Sleep. That's that's I don't what know. What is the sleep you speak of? Lucha I, Underground is I, your I, work. I, hey, Wheels, I need to edit RWA. I don't want to hear from you. So <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 don't make me come to your place. I'm you remember I'm closer to you now. Yeah, he's up in he's down in Monopoly, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with he's the gonna no- ride his thimble right up the turnpike. Good luck with the notes this week, Missy. <laughs> Oh no, I'm on top of Missy Missy's just stopped taking notes. Why do we get why do we get all these searches for the Monopoly thimbles? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. I don't understand that. It's like it's like how awesome cats all the top searches are VR porn. Um <laughs> So wrestling VR porn. Let's talk about it. Oh god. Oh boy. 
How? Uh, I. Mm, That's delicious, uh, baby. <laughs> Man, dude, if VR helmets were a thing when Wrestlelicious came out, it would never have disappeared. Actually, Sword, it might have actually started. Her? Don't you remember the Lacey Von Eric POV video that she did? What? No, we talked about this a long time Is this ago. This back when we used to talk about boobs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It was a Lacey Von Eric POV wrestling video. That's very awkward. It's Sounds very, awkward. very awkward. POV wrestling is okay. Yeah. Yeah, because if you guys don't know who Lacey Von Eric is, congratulations. You watch good wrestling. Um, <laughs> if you do know who Lacey Von Eric is, hi, five people who watched Impact. Um, or listen to you. Wait, Billy, Billy has a question. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. How did we get the gold dust segment? How do we get what? How do we get here from the gold dust segment? Billy, I, I I'm not exactly sure, but I think what you need to do is you need to create a big board. You need to put a bunch of thumbnails in it, and you need to trace it back step by step how we got If back. any episode is worth a crazy wall, it's this one. Um, Can yes. we talk about a pay-per-view that's happening this weekend? Oh, hold on. Br- Brandon's asking us if we've seen the video of Orton doing the RKO on his son <laughs> into the pool. Yes, um, everybody. I, ha- I have seen that, and you know the only reason he did it is because his son was diving. It's the only reason. It's the only reason. Okay, if we're going to talk about RKOs, did anybody see the videos of the (laughs) indie wrestlers trolling? Oh, my God. I saw that. RKOing. If you haven't seen it, Randy Orton like wrote a message in in Apple Notes and screen capped it and tweeted it out and says I'm you know something about I guess I'm going to have to apologize and he, and he and he put it out there on his Twitter and it was talking about how the indie wrestlers are ruining the business basically because uh, they don't sell stuff et cetera et cetera right you know uh you know why why are you so proud of 15 years in the business not making money for hot dogs and a handshake and not being here you know things like that right you know basically it felt kind of diggy towards like uh you know Sami Zayn's and Kevin Owens and and even AJ Styles a little bit right um and plus everybody else doing awesome like everybody in that match like Adam Cole and the Young Bucks for instance um so so this was PWG this was this was this past weekend I think so yeah uh, and and it was like a six man tag match where it was just RKO after RKO for about a straight <laughs> minute <laughs> yep it was and amazing. it was fantastic i watched it twice uh <laughs> it was like the good parts of every Randy Orton match ever yeah it, it was Rolled it was like a one. career retrospective really yeah. you know so i think somebody did the pose at some the point only, the only thing they didn't do was break their arm when they were punching the mat yeah because i love the spin that the one guy did and just punches <laughs> yes absolutely absolutely uh the tweet that billy sent is that the dm he's talking about or I'm not sure. I tried to look on the Twitter. I didn't see it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not catching which one he's talking about. But anyways, uh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll try to uh, catch up with that there, Billy. Um, but anyways, there is a pay per view this weekend, and, and one thing I th- I thought was interesting is we're seeing how both shows are handling. Um, everybody's involved in one damn match. One is handling it very well. The other, not so much. But, but there you go. Uh, but um. And, and I don't think we have our answer yet of whether Raw will be involved with this Money in the Bank match either. I don't think uh, they're not going. They're not. This is a SmackDown only pay per view. Yeah, I'm yeah. okay with that. I think I'm okay with mm-hmm. that. I would like to see Money in the Bank be a mixed promotion one, though, like where you have like two people from SmackDown, two people from Raw, and then a wild card person in it. Like throwing in an NXT person or yeah, something. Yeah, or, or even I just have like a, a question. A, it gets a, a little. It gets a little more. Shows. It gets a little more Royal Rumble again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it, it was kind of it series. was kind of our our new Royal Rumble. What, yeah. What's that, Mike? Um. All right. Now let's just say Baron Corbin wins Money in the Bank. Okay. Okay. And let's also say Finn Balor beats Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire or SummerSlam, wherever it may be. Okay. Could Baron Corbin cash in on Finn Balor? I doubt it. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think that would be a unique twist to this money in the bank. You win it on one show, you cash it in on another. I it depends how they want to play it. I mean, they could. Just just like just like if you won the Royal Rumble, you decided which show you wanted to go to I, and challenge. I think that's how they did the uh, brand split when they first did it. Like they had 
Like whoever won the title was they were either traveling to both shows. I think they were traveling to both whoever, shows. Whoever okay, when they first first did it, the, right. the champion was traveling to both shows. The, okay. Right. Yeah, but they also had they also had representatives from both brands in the match. Right. In in Money in the Bank, you're saying. Yeah, in the Money in the Bank match. They had people from Raw, people from SmackDown, and CM Punk from ECW. Oh. Like mm. Yeah, CM Punk was in ECW in his first uh, Money in the Bank match. So we need oh, to get wow. Jack Gallagher in that. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, don't don't give me that dream. Don't you have two hundred five live Money in the Bank. Although Holy I'd shit. rather see, I'd rather see Akira Tozawa. Yeah. Ooh. After that, just to see Akira Tozawa and Shinsuke Nakamura rip it up in a liar match. All right. Ooh. Sign me up for that. You know what? I think we need to cool off. Well, wait, wait, wait. I need to check this one thing first. Uh, but no, I guess so. Anyways, I was getting at we have two multi man matches coming up a five way at Extreme Rules this weekend. We have, of course, uh, the Money in the Bank match, and we're already seeing, you know, kind of the same, I guess, the same format a little bit, right? And, and, and like you said, one hand like one way, one hand the other way, um, you know, about who, you know, what what's, you know, just the, these these multiple combinations of people i don't know I, I think we're just more excited because um I, you know really both of them have a lot of new combinations with them both of them are new guys mm-hmm. nakamura's on the one side samojo's a new guy on the other side i mean I, finn balor's basically a new guy finn balor's basically because he just came back you're right you know uh i mean just i, I, I think i think we gotta it's interesting i think both matches are going to be amazing it's just we've kind of i, I think it i think smack i think we view smackdown as better because there is a match on that card more important than Money in the Bank. Mm. Whereas on Raw, Money in the Bank, uh, the five way match is the most important match. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Cody Rhodes. Uh, so Billy did, did send us a tweet from Cody Rhodes just to, to see exactly what he said in response. Three time Intercontinental Champ, three time World Tag Team Champ, replace Jobber with future Hall of Famer and kiss my ass while you're at it. <laughs> yes, Love he's, not, he's not wrong. Original tweet no. was: I don't know what gold dust means when he says he's back to his golden age because it hasn't gold dust always been a jobber. I want to, uh, you know what? This this person is probably let's see, born on October fifteenth. Don't have a year. Da, 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 da. Uh, my guess is uh, if he's inspired by Eminem, he was probably like five when gold dust was in his heyday, if that, and doesn't know when gold dust was in his heyday. So. Yeah. Also, remember, Goldust has had like a 20, 30 year career. Really long. And, I mean, and, Gold- and that's just Goldust. He's got um, some miles on him. Yeah. Dustin, <laughs> Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes teamed with his father against Million Dollar Man and Virgil, and then had a whole run in WCW before even coming back yeah. to WWE. Yeah. yeah. And being I mean, seven. We, we can, yeah, I was going to say, we can forgive the seven and Black Rain bullshit, but <laughs> Dustin Rhodes slash Goldust is a hall of famer yes yeah oh yeah i mean by every stretch of the imagination i mean i don't think you're going to hold him up to the legend status of of a dusty Rhodes, but i mean he's definitely up there in hall of fame status above a coco beware sorry coco Uh, why do you always gotta bring up coco everybody brings up coco because there's a much less worthy wwe hall of famer and he happens to be really bad at twitter his name is the president On that note, hey, shout Get out to on. our friend SliceOnBroadway.com. Check him out uh, here Get the on prop. Get the prop. Beach View. I feel like I did this already here. Uh, but yes, there it is. There's the <laughs> wonderful pizza. Our friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza here at Beach View on Broadway. Carnegie, PA on Main Street, as well as PNC Park Home. The Pittsburgh Pirates, our good friends down at the Post-Gazette, have been uh, checking them out. Our, our buddy Mike Pound uh, up there at the PG, uh, who was just on Awesome Cast last week and actually was one of the people that sent us the Randy Orton uh, uh, uh video as well uh so uh, shout out to him mike pound pg on the twitters uh say say hi for mayhem show for us please somebody out there uh so uh go check them out thank you to those guys for supporting the show feeding our guests and uh helping us have uh, a lot of energy and, and fueling the tuesday night podcast day we'll be back after this message with the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more 
Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show, Sorgatron here in Mayhem Studios with Larry on the couch. Mayhem, no, no, there's already a Mayhem Missy. Uh, Missy of Mayhem uh, <laughs> on the producing. Wife of the show. On the show, wife of the show. Wheels on the, in the Mon, PA, as well as Mad Mike on Pooh, Kipsy, New York. <laughs> it is time for the big question. Then I have to remember how I phrased that this week. So we talked about kind of falling back to stuff. Gold dust is rolling back to an old gimmick uh, of sorts, right? Returning back to the well on something uh, that we haven't seen for a bit. Southpaw is just old school in general, and we had a lot of fun with that in the first half. So yeah, the idea came up of what characters, what wrestlers would you like to see revert back to a previous gimmick? for another run in in that kind of role in that name in that character um and, and kind of just roll things back um i mean we've kind of seen it between what's happening with gold dust or or undertaker uh became the biker and then rolled back to the dead man and and had more longevity through it so so who do you think we could have some fun with and and, and roll back some gimmicks and uh and see what's happening mike you said you had a, a pretty good answer to get us rolling i, I do have one and I, I, I think this is when this guy was at his personal best, in my opinion. I want Randy Orton to go back to being a legend killer. Mm. But there's a twist. Because of all the younger guys on SmackDown, I want him to be the future legend killer. Ooh. So he has to go up against guys who he thinks are going to be something in the future and take them out before they can become that. Or 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 it's guys like guy. or guys that yeah the, or the can he just like be basically the, I want him to be time cop. Can he just be the, the indie, indie killer? killer. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah the indie killer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure indie killer Randy Orton like because uh, give me that versus the face of SmackDown AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fucking please. Or, or somebody who could very rightfully, you know, go out there and say, I'm a future legend, as in Kevin Owens. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Or somebody who is a legend in Japan, like Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I think it'd be great, and he's on the perfect show to do that. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Missy of Mayhem has an answer. I want to see John Cena go back to the Doctor of Thugonomics. Yes. Yes, I want to see that. I like him come out and just completely just drop some. That's a good one. Just, just drop it right there. And I, I loved that character, and I want to see. Him <gasps> oh my God, Missy! I want to see a battle rap with John Cena and Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dead. Oh my God! I need to see that now. Oh. Wheels is having the best reactions to this. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like he just saw wow. a talker lose at Mania. Wow. Uh, Larry, do you have one? I'm going to wait because I'm still thinking of something. You're still thinking of one? Yeah. What about you, Wheels? Uh, I, I, I've been thinking and I'm like, I'd love to see Kofi go back to <laughs> just be the goofy <laughs> Jamaican <laughs> guy all of a sudden, just like he did with the whole time machine thing and just it would stick. And the guys would be like, um, what happened? He'd be like, what you talking about, man? <laughs> so wait, he would still be part of the New Day, uh -huh. but, he, but he'd be a time-lapse Kofi Kingston? Yes. <laughs> I love, it. I love like he, it. Like he got hit in the head and he has an accent again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Xavier would be like, W, W, and he'd be like, yeah, man, we're the tag team champions. <laughs> And he'd come out to his old music. I think they did that in one of the episodes when they had that little time machine. Oh, they like did a little against, bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. But he wants they it did. to stick. Bloodlands. Yeah, he wants yeah. it to stick though. Yeah, it <laughs> just funny. like we did I this for a few weeks. Um, from the chat room, uh, okay. uh, Billy Billy says uh, Big E is the silent bodyguard. All right. Oh. All right. Oh God! If they did that both at the same time, wasn't there a thing? <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> what? At the but, same time, where it's Xavier as current New Day Xavier and Biggie's silent like he was with Ziggler and AJ. No, and no, no, no. no. Let's, let's just go the full <laughs> way. Let's just go the full way. This isn't my answer, but while we're at it, let's just 
they just roll him back to Apollo Creed in TNA and, and just, just oh. Consequences Creed. Consequences Creed, whatever his name is. That's you what I call the other guy. You need to have Apollo Creed. You need to watch Rocky. I, I just watched Creed actually about a month ago. So um, <laughs> I didn't watch Rock uh, Balboa though. Um, but anyways, um, I don't think it matters. Uh, uh, Rand- <laughs> Tina, Tina says, uh, um, "Does it have to be a WWE gimmick?" No, I, I think we just proved that. Uh, Daniel Bryan goes back to the American Dragon days. No, 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 no. He goes into what was the lucha name that he had when he had the job, the the enhancement match, the tryout match in WWE. He was like American. He was like Americano Dragon or something like that. He had a red, white, blue luchador yeah. mask or something. <laughs> like, can we just have him do that? You know, was it El like, Americano? El Mar- I think it might have been actually. <laughs> But it's just like, you know what? They won't let me wrestle because of my injury, but they'll let El Americano wrestle. They'll never know. Well, it'd be funnier if he was El Americano, but he was still in the GM role. So he's doing... (laughs) So he's tricking himself? He's doing all this promos in a lucha mask with no mouth. Hey, man. I'd never let me wrestle. Um, Tina <laughs> Tina Keys says Drew Gallick is doing a similar gimmick like he has done in uh, in CZW apparently. Um, okay, okay. That, that, that makes. That. What's that? Uh, Brandon's before that. Don't forget uh, some of these wrestlers now uh, oh. were were with Adam Rose dancing around them. Yes. Oh, oh my what? God! Braun Strowman is Braun, a rosebud. Yes. So Braun Strowman the rosebud. Braun Elias Sampson uh, was uh, Alexa Bliss. I think was Becky out Lynch. there. Becky Lynch. Yeah. And they just like create a new a new faction. <laughs> oh my God! Can we just have like someone hit a whammy ray and everyone that was a former rosebud oh. just revert to that? Oh, they they go to that, but they're like they're like no 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 the party's over. So they're sad. No. So they just call them the Wilted Rose. No, 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 no. I have a better one yet. You take Uh-oh. that party scene with Adam Rose and you put their current gimmicks in as the Rose Buds. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! But Kalisto's yeah. just there in the dragon mask, still spitting the glow stick. I'll take that. You'll take, right. Oh, my God. But, like, I'm imagining Braun Strowman as a Rosebud as Braun Strowman. I'm- well, Braun Strowman would be leading the mosh, and every time the music would stop, and he's like, I'm not finished with you! The music would start back. No, no, no. I like no, it even no, better with him just no. standing there going, it's just the, like angry No, it's Roman. the end of night. I'm not done partying yet! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I I don't... Oh, I, 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 <laughs> wow, that was a good question. <laughs> See? Okay, as we're we're breaking oh, down, and, and we got the drifter providing house music for the party. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. And he, there Slater. we go. He's the house band. He's the house band with. Wait, just, wait, wait, no, no, no. He plays the old Adam Rose. Can music? we just have a house band that's Elias Sampson, Chris Jericho, and Hulk Hogan God. on guitar? What They're, about the kazoos? Wait, are they all on guitar? Oh, we're throwing the kazoos with Edge and Christian while we're at it. Now, now we went over the edge. Yeah. Did you have something? No. See, you're you're still taking it that they're partying. My thing is like Braun Strowman as his current character and his current gimmick, just going in and like throwing people around because that's Braun Strowman. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but no, that's a mosh pit. That's a mosh pit. Okay, that's I guess. True. That's true. That, but that it was be... a party bus, though. So it'll be. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. You know. And then he knocks the bus over. Mm. All right, I got one. He tips the bus <laughs> wait, over. Wait, wait, Larry like, has yeah, one. Yeah. Guys, Larry has one. Now, do we have do to Do you have anything left? Do we have to go off of the current roster? Um, not or necessarily. Realistic possible. Like you're allowed to say Virgil can become Curly Bill. <laughs> no. Or Vincent. No. <laughs> um I think you have to pick someone that's alive. I was, was going to say uh revert McFoley back to his old commissioner role. With all his fancy offices. All right. All right. Yeah. Because that's one thing that was missing when he came back as GM. Like yeah, he, he didn't wasn't have his office. Like he was like McFoley trying to walk on eggshells with Stephanie Corporate McFoley. Foley. He wasn't like fun McFoley <laughs> that that was oh. the edge in Christian. Mm-hmm. Like, like well, while we're on that, let's move Stephanie back to Cool Mom Steph. <laughs> yeah, I, I want Cool Mom Steph. Yeah, yeah. I like her where she's at right now. Can can we put Triple H back with long hair and <laughs> just make him terrorizing again? 
Oh God. Oh. I wasn't going to go far that far. My like, damn. Well, there was that one time at Chikara where uh, X Pac came back as one, two, three kid a couple years ago. <laughs> like that actually happened. And and when he came back and they did the DX thing at Chikara, like a pair, Billy oh. Gunn said that they wanted him to come out back come out as Rockabilly. Yes. So oh, I mean, oh god. And and this weekend at AIW, Mordecai came back. Oh, so and, uh, and um, and Road Dog, if you're listening, and you are, you come, you should come back as. The real Double J, Jesse James. That's right. You can yes. be in that house band I was I was making up with Hulk Hogan and Elias oh Samson God. and Jericho. The drifter, the drifter playing the song. Spend my day working, working hard. hard. With the oh, you do backup vocals. <laughs> the the oh. drifter playing with my baby tonight. Oh, I have a better one. that in my life. I take back the Mick Foley one. I want William Regal coming back. As with He's the ash, a man. He's a man. as the commissioner of NXT. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Yes, yes. Listen, we're gonna work hard around here. Oh he comes out in plaid and a hard hat and says, "Listen here, you alters of pain. You need to work like a man's man." And he puts it up against you guessed it, heavy machinery. Oh jeez, he could be oh. no no forget GM, he can be heavy machinery's manager. Oh, oh man, him and Paul oh, Ellering God. going at it. Oh man. Oh, it'll be great because it'll be the same awesome gimmick without the drug addiction <coughs> happening in the background. <laughs> yes, those are the dark. Okay, times. fine. We're just gonna make it even worse. We're gonna bring Kevin Nash back as Oz. Ah, ah. <laughs> right, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We Uh-oh. do that. We do that. We get Kevin Nash. He is Oz in Lucha Underground. I'm okay with this. And porn star. Yeah. Uh, I'm Scott, entirely okay uh, with this. Like, like Masquerita Sagrada finds an ancient lamp. <laughs> and he rubs the lamp. <laughs> and out comes giant seven foot tall Oz. And he blows a quad coming down the steps. <laughs> They don't have. No, he doesn't. No, no wheels. He doesn't because he is on a cloud, so he does not uh, have to walk. Which is just, which is just one of those carts that uh, Rev rides to the ring in with a cardboard <laughs> cut out of a cloud. Correct. I, I also want to point out. Absolutely correct. I don't think. I don't think Lucha Underground has anybody over six five. Um. Um. Like. Uh, what, a, what about the Lucha? No, uh, no, Saurus. Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus is okay. I haven't seen Luchasaurus. He definitely is. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, no, he okay. definitely is. First two seasons, nobody's over six five. Yeah, I'm still. <laughs> I'm still. I mean, the Mo Martes is huge. How are you ahead and behind at the same time? I there was there was no Luchasaurus at the taping I was at. That's all I know. They You're kept not it. Watching they kept the Luchasaurus from me. I was distracted by by the bagel bites. I just it was, <laughs> you know, it was a thing. And did I talk? Wrestling? I enjoy talking to Luchasaurus. By the way, wait, you are talking to Luchasaurus. Yes. Wait, hold on. You can speak dinosaur? Yes. Wait a minute. Is it that? Wait, I, I need a picture of Luchasaurus. Yes. Hold on a second. Wait, isn't I, It's exactly who you think it is. Wait, wait. Yes. Lu, Luchasaurus, I did see, I think. Now I think about He's it. He's also called the Undersnaker. Undersnaker? Yes. Hold on. These are not pictures of He's, the Luchasaurus. He's not. This He's is, not this is, called this, this is just pictures of people in that T Rex costume that they used. Um, the Undersnaker. <laughs> hold on a second. I'm looking this up. Luchasaurus, you mean Luchasaurus, something, something. Oh, uh, I'm going into Reddit. This is going to get dark. Um, no, that's that's that that's Thunder Rosa. Okay, I know that part. What's <laughs> what's this do? Um, all right. On that point, Extreme Rules is a thing that's happening this weekend. There's a five person match, <laughs> and you can tell how excited we are by it by avoiding to talk about it. That's him. Is that? that no, that's that just looks like a random luchador. Um. Anyways, that's Daniel Bryan. That's, Dan- that's Daniel that's Bryan. Daniel, that is Daniel Bryan. <laughs> oh, Brandon said we could bring back the Nexus. Just like, revert everyone to their Nexus gimmick. <laughs> Some people kind of never left. So, um, <laughs> uh, no, no, you're thinking of the oh. Shield sword. Some people bring, never left the Shield. Uh, yeah, that's bring true. back 2002 that's Brock Lesnar when he's still doing shooting star presses. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh. Hey, team hey, no, no, no. Team back up with Sheldon only- Benjamin. He only did one. No, he's done yeah. more than one. No, he did more. Well, he didn't. He only did one in WWF. 
Really? Yeah. He did. Yeah. He did in OVW. He did. He did in OVW. I thought all he's the time. done that on SmackDown a couple I times. I don't think Ooh. he did. Oh no 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 no! I no, don't no. believe so. No, he saved that for WrestleMania and never did it again. <laughs> exactly. He forgot how he hit his head so hard. Oh Jesus! This that is... is also probably potentially oh, true. What the fuck is this mask? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? He's a sleaze stack sword. Oh yep. shit! I need to catch up on this shit. Oh yes, damn! Do. I am buying season three tonight. Um, <laughs> wow! He just kicked that dude in the. Wow, that's a big dude. Is that? Uh-huh. Is that I the Punisher? You. That looks like the Punisher guy from uh, from Ring of Honor. What the <laughs> hell? Do yourself a favor and look up Luchasaurus if you haven't seen this shit. What? Everyone the hell? should be watching Lucha Underground. Yes. Damn it! It's coming exactly. back tomorrow night. I'm so sad. I didn't see this. I saw the other like like reptile guy, like the big guy, like the like shorter kind of guy. Yeah, his zipper came undone during the match. <laughs> Actually, I think he's in the corner <laughs> there. Yeah, that guy. That guy. In the, I'm the only one seeing this video. Okay, and this is a great show. Extreme Rules is this week, and there's a five person <laughs> match. It doesn't matter because Finn Balor is probably going to win it. And it doesn't matter who's winning that because they're probably losing to Brock Lesnar. Let's go with that. And scene. And scene. See you next week. Nine ninety nine. Get your free trial. And we get to watch Bailey whack people with kendo sticks. She's yeah. not gonna, and she's lose. not going to get the kendo and stick. Then and then lose. Hey, yep. Bailey is not going to get the I like, kendo stick. So I love we're, we're kind of like building in our our whatever uh wins. um. That is true. That is true. Lesnar had the Heyman in the old SmackDown era and still has him. Well, you know, but uh, Brock kind of just reverted back to his UFC days. So, uh, well, uh, I will say something about the Bailey match. Mm-hmm. If they don't dress up a kendo stick as one of the wacky waving inflatable arm flowing tube men, what the fuck are we even doing? I hate that it's a kendo stick on a pole. Oh, I hate that. I hate when we like, have a women. Is, is that is that what Vince Russo was talking to WWE about? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, now we're suspicious, hey, uh, right? Hey bro, hey, bro, you need more pole matches, huh? Especially with the chicks. You need more pole matches with chicks. I love that Everybody we have them. sticks. The day I read Vince Russo has been talking with with Vince with with WWE, we get the the Vince Russo Barry show of Table for Three. We didn't even talk about that. Well, you know, we, we did off air. Like as I, I explained, the only Table for Three where I thought the table was going to get flipped um, because Jim that Cornette. Was a, that was an anticlimactic Table for Three. It was. It was a little bit like the first like two minutes were like, man, he's just going at him, isn't he? And that was one of the shorter ones too. That was wasn't it? even twenty minutes. Because they, yeah, it wasn't even twenty minutes. Because they could. Because have you heard Jim Cornette talk? Not on TV. No, yes. thank God. Oh, you that can't is, use it. Is, you can't use it on TV. Like you thought, no. man, it, it's just I've I've been around Jim Cornette when something got <laughs> fucked up on TV at a taping. And it is and exactly what you expect. It, what's that? Yep. I said there'd be bleeps that would be happening at table of three. Yes. He, they don't let him go. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, also, so, sorry, this is something I noticed. On, uh, on on Raw during that this is your life segment. Did it's they so hang? No, no, no. Because I, I was trying to avoid the actual content. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they did hang a kind of stick in the corner. No, they had it in the corner. Is it too high for Alexa to even reach? Oh, that's a good question. Because it really looked like it. <laughs> well, she's like, as tall as the somehow, stick, so. I don't they, like they almost televise like they almost televise yeah, telegraph that right. Bailey's the one that's going to grab the stick. Or she could hang Bailey upside down. And oh, oh, we got wait could, just just for we have we, you know there's a kendo stick match we got the kabuki stick out here in the studio Larry's got it. We'll see if the dog uh joins you again. Nope, he's trying to get in the chair. So, so we got that's a good length. And then they, get the stick. Get the stick, boy. Yeah, don't play a fetch with my chihuahua with the kendo stick. Here, That's get... not going to go well. <laughs> oh, it'd be hysterical. Yes. So, yep. see, now automatically, couch looks more badass. <laughs> so, I... anyways. Now you got to make a graphic for the kabuki stick. Now we got to make a graphic. Uh, Chad, uh, next year on Chad Mayhem Chad. Mania, kabuki, I put the kabuki stick against Larry. 
Um, I'm telling you, they need to make one that looks like the wacky waving your flow arm filling tube men. Though I lost my extreme rules matches. Uh, oh, hey, we're going to have Dean Ambrose against the Miss in a if he in a the stipulation extra is, disqualification and an anti extreme match. Yeah, if Dean yes. if Dean Ambrose gets disqualified, he loses. That's so. Not only is this not an extreme match, it's just a shitty concept. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Is what it is. It's stupid. We also will have a steel cage match with Cesaro and Sheamus uh, against the Hardy Boys. And and Mike, I, I'm kind of leaning towards your thing. If we don't get Broken Hardys after a steel cage match, there will be no Broken yeah. Hardys. Yep. Mm-hmm. So because uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm not looking forward to this match. I'm I'm not either. I don't even know how how do you do how do you do a tag team cage match that both people have like, to leave the ring. Yeah, that's, that's usually it. Okay, but then if one gets out, then you have two on one and, and yeah. everything. So yep. it gets it gets complicated. Yeah, and, and it's always Jeff Hardy who leaves the ring first. I mean, Jeff Hardy's jumping off of it. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's what's happening. Of course, uh, of course he is. Uh, of course, we got Austin Aries and Neville in the. Uh, we've been talking about this on Midweek War. It feels. I feel like this has gone about three weeks too long. Yeah, oh, it should. Yeah, it it should have run out of steam a month ago. This has to be the end. We have to move on. They're, they're, build, they're building Cedric to be a badass right now. They are. So, like, if, if the belt had changed hands once or twice, this would be fine. If it was a back but the and fact forth. that Devils won every time, mm-hmm. well, the, the, like it makes all scenarios looks like a looks like a banana eating. Ne- Neville's Neville's <laughs> won and is getting is acting worried. You know what I mean? It, it just it's it's just been a little little bit too long. A little bit. So yeah, and and they're selling like Austin Aries has a knee injury, but they're also selling that Neville has an arm submission. So I don't know what we're trying to do. A <laughs> little bit of mixed messages. A little bit. Yeah, work like, over that. The only thing I can see is that Aries won't be able to lock in the last chancery, or he has to do it with like one leg in the air. Uh, Brandon, answer the tag match um, cage thing. It's usually when they usually when it's a tag match. Sometimes it's no. It's usually double escape. And it's it yeah it's usually tornado it's usually tornado everybody's oh in. yeah it has to be there's because almost, you can't yeah there's almost never tags or anything like that uh so um they could do they could do a first pin perhaps this oh, match should have been god that would make it even worse that, that would be bad that would be rough um mixed tag team match uh with uh, uh Rich Swan and the dance and Sasha Banks did you like that last night Mike um hashtag Rich Bosses. There you go. Oh, I like that. Wow. Yeah. Um, Get that to them, man. Uh, I already did. Drew Gulak. (laughs) Drew Gulak. And uh, uh, no, not Drew Gulak. No, I'm Dar. Sorry. And Alicia Fox. No, 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 I'm Gulak. And uh, Alicia Fox. Yes. Um, So, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun. I'm surprised if I don't see it announced here, but I'm surprised it's not like a pre-show or something. They were uh, um, doing a segment beforehand on 205 where uh, Sasha Banks referred to Noam Dar as Noam Dar. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Fantastic. I do not mind at all that they brought that over from Raw. That that That's the right way to do that. Uh, going mm-hmm. from the women's match over to uh, 205 Live. So I like it. Um, it I- seems like we're missing matches on this. It does a little bit. I was thinking that too because, like I said, nothing is really announced for a kickoff or anything like that. Um, Probably not announced. Gold Dust versus Archer. Right? Yeah, they might, they, that that might just be a come out to do something, and and that could seriously be the pre-show, probably. Right? Uh, so I, I think you'll see something over the next couple of days because sometimes the, it seems like they're stringing them out a bit because I feel like the, the Ms. Finn thing was announced maybe a couple of days before, not Backlash, uh, whatever yeah, the show was but- before. So, um, no, uh, payback, payback, payback. Thank you. Uh, so I can't even keep up with them anymore. Um, payback lash. It's old, the, the old podcast. I'm, I'm losing it. Um, but, uh, no, I, I mean, it's, it's worth my nine ninety nine. I'll check it out. Uh, but it's definitely, I mean, I, I'm enjoying my Sunday night, my Sunday night main events. Uh, <laughs> to be quite honest, it, it, you know, it is free for me because I pay for episodes of Two Hundred Five Live. Yeah, and you got your nine ninety nine already out of uh, Takeover last week, so yes, yeah, yep. exactly. Last week, last two weeks ago, yeah, like two, two weeks, week, two weekends ago, yeah. Oof. Okay, um, you went to Kansas and lost a week. 
I I think it well it happened when I was still hey, in Sorg, Michigan. Sorg. Oh. Sorg, don't you dare, Mike, don't you say it. Sorg. You're don't not say in, it. You're not in Kansas anymore. Son uh, of a bitch. damn it. Uh okay. Uh that's there's that. Um uh, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh man. What did I learn from wrestling this week? I, I learned I, that I learned that I kind of ship uh Smo Joe and Laurel Van Ness now. Hmm. That that's that's your doing, Sork. I mean, you ship. I, I didn't I didn't get that tweet. Oh, oh no! I, I, I kind of want them to be a thing. I know, I know they're in other companies. I don't care. I because Laurel, right now Laurel Van Ness is leading around Congo Kong. Okay. And sure, that's fine. I'd rather Laurel Van Ness lead, lead around Samoa. Joe. Listen, listen. If she's gonna hang with an island boy, make it be Samoa Joe. Exactly. Right. Make it be that, one that, nothing that against. I have, like Congo Kong. Have, I mean, nothing against Congo Kong, but but if I have a better looking upper body than he does. I mean, that's saying something. That's yeah. saying that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. It says a lot about your potential wrestling career. Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Did you tap your red slippers? No, I did not have. Well, all, but all the all the hats were red. No, I think yeah, who do you it. think he is, Ernest the Cat Miller? <laughs> Watch out! Somebody call your mama. This yes, is- there we go. Thank I you realize me. that I'm stealing Bobby's, but I love the fashion files. They were in Rolling yes. Stone. God. They had an article about it in Rolling Stone about Guys, uh, Breezango being the best thing in wrestling right now. I love it. I absolutely it's not untrue. No, not untrue. It's great. Tyler Tyler Breeze looks better in a dress than all of us. No offense, with you. <laughs> he he, he looked he look good in a deep V. <laughs> does... No offense to William Regal. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, Regal. <laughs> no, no offense, to William Regal. That's wow. a gimmick he needs to bring back. What'd you learn, Larry? <laughs> I don't know. I I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. Ask me next week. I didn't really care about what it. You got to answer. <laughs> we can't. We can't ask you next week what you learned about this week I because by then you have already had Larry, to learn something. Larry, what'd new. you learn two weeks ago? Uh, I don't remember. Takeover, takeover was good. I like takeover, Larry. Was good. What did Larry? What did I, you learn from March two thousand six? I really didn't care about the wrestling this week, to be honest. <laughs> There, there was, meh. it was, it was a week. It, it, it happened. It's, Welcome to the wrestling show. Yeah, Welcome to the wrestling happened. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Take yeah. it or leave it. Raw, Raw was pretty good. SmackDown was pretty good. It, nothing to write home about. I'm, I'm glad, excited. I'm excited for the women's Money in the Bank match. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you're apathetic to wrestling because the person who hated wrestling, we asked to leave the show. So. <laughs> So, so it worked out, and then other people leave on their own accord. But uh, hey, this is okay. I'm sure this I'll have pass. more stuff to talk about next week this after the pay per view. It's like you have your own like mental issues with wrestling this week, right? Yeah. You just have this like mild depression with wrestling this yeah. week, and you'll 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 bring it's it back. It's okay. Around. It's yeah. okay, Enzo. It's Damn it! I was going to say okay. that. It's okay. Much. You're just going to have to take your Lucha Underground medicine, and it'll be better yeah. next week. I'm going to go be better go, for I'm everybody. Go find a flight of stairs. If I find a flight of stairs. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna stay away. From I want to find. I want to find a stack of WrestleMania DVDs to throw myself into. Uh, <laughs> just watch WrestleMania the 20. Arms of the angel. Oh no! It's the terrible arms timing. Arms <laughs> okay. <laughs> we used to do this all the time. This is. You oh, can't yeah. sing that right after I mentioned WrestleMania 20. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't do that. That was unfortunate. <laughs> that was very <laughs> unfortunate. Anyways. Yeah, that Brock Goldberg match was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon says, I learned that your boyfriend wants to get close to the girlfriend's friends. What? Oh, because of the Bailey thing that we all tried to ignore. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That never happened. <laughs> WWE wow, that edited was... that out. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure whoever played those people are screwed for well, at least 20 no, years no 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 whoever played those people are going to have amazing characters in tna in about three years <laughs> like like, like, like no, Laura Van Ness. no this is just like eric bischoff trying to sell vince mcmahon a mop i think that's how they pitched it's, luchan underground it's perry saturn's mop. It's perry Mass- <laughs> moppy wheels what'd you learn what did i learn i learned 
Can I have some more AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler oh, matches? Geez. Really? Yeah, that was good. Mm, that was good. I, guess. I enjoyed that match very much. Well, you'll you'll get plenty more of it because, as we all know, Dolph Ziggler when he wrestles someone, he wrestles them eighteen times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. That's a good point. But 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 like, can we get to the point? Have you gotten anywhere where you were tired of AJ Styles facing the same person? I've gotten to the point yeah. where I'm tired of watching. Um, a lot I, of I got people that way in TNA. You got the wait, 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 wait. What was that, Larry? I'm getting to that point with a lot of people. But I feel like I I feel like I don't know if I'm going to get to that point with. Nakamura or AJ? No, I don't I, think I, so. I got there with AJ. You got there TNA. with AJ was in TNA. You're saying, but now, yeah, like like AJ now is is way different than AJ TNA. I'm, AJ, I mean, now, AJ now, AJ now is, is post burning down burning down the building with 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 Nakamura in, in Wrestle Kingdom. Post burning down. I don't want to see AJ versus Cena again. AJ AJ burning down uh, a Ring of Honor against Matt Seidel in West Virginia. You know, I mean, this is a different AJ Styles than emo AJ Styles and Ric Flair one of the yeah. AJ Styles and. And, and you know, great great matches, you know, with no personality with with uh, Joe and and Christopher Daniels uh, 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 back in two thousand six. You know, I'm, but yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Would you be interested in seeing John Cena as the Doctor of Economics versus AJ Styles? No, because then AJ Ooh. Styles is going to try and steal that gimmick too. <laughs> and nobody although, wants to see him although, rap. Oh, I, I absolutely want to see AJ Styles rap. I absolutely want to see that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, oh no. Oh no, Brandon, don't say that. I'm I'm getting a little tired Lord, of Don't say that, it. Brandon. Happy Fourth of July. Cena's oh, scheduled to come back. And he's gonna be Kevin Owens for the U.S. Title America. America. Oh, America. No. Now watch and, that. And, and the and the Cena Open challenges start again. Hey, the Cena Open Burr, challenge Burr, was the greatest Burr. fucking thing. It was. No, it, was it was great. Not. Oh, it was amazing. You had dude. Yeah. No, what wasn't. is? It was amazing. Sammy Zayn. So it elevated quiz. so Hold many on, people. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Sork pop quiz. Who was the guy besides Kevin Owens that ended the Open challenge? Rusev. No, that will be oh, Alberto Del Rio. Right, right. Yeah, and how did that work out well, for that title? That's, there's some did other problems. Did it help problems. the title at all? No, no. no but it Cena fucking did. Well did. But Cena did. But I'm I'm not no, talking about where we got. I'm talking about the no, journey. Cena the week in week Cena. out. Cena having amazing matches with Cesaro and Sami Zayn and and, and, and these other guys popping up. A single did not put a single one of them over because you're not gonna. That's, then you can't still have the open <laughs> challenge because then somebody <laughs> beats you for it. it. Yes, no, you, you can, can. It's not who wins and who has the good match. Sorg, it's the story, Sorg. not the ending. Sorg, Sorg, you do it a different way. You say open challenge. You beat me in a non-title match. You get a title shot. Oh, that's so good. tired, Mike. That's what I learned hey, this hey, week. This is not the raw wrap up. <laughs> that's it. Where's, where's Chad? Chad, are you eating your popcorn? Is that what you're doing at home right now? Uh, geez. Uh, anyways, this is a pre- this is what it's <laughs> uh, like sorry. on the wrap up. He says sorry. something that sets me off, and I tell him how wrestling is, and we disagree. Oh, what? 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 Chat room has things to say. It helped El Rio get paid, and somebody won there. Um, wait, wait, who won there? Because it sure as hell wasn't Paige. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it sure as hell wasn't Del Rio because he's in goddamn TNA. I learned Zeb Coulter. Billy Billy says he's learned he's sick of multiple single matches, single people in matches. Uh, four of the five people in matches are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh learned to fa- they say fashion files is the best thing in WWE right now from Bobby. Uh or something about red slippers. I, I think that was all of those. Or, or yeah, that. Red Shoes Red Shoes, the Japanese referee. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> red Shoes. Red Shoes Diaries. All right, did I miss anybody else have anything they learned? I I, I we gotta get out of here. Wheel, wheels didn't go, did it? Wheels? Yes, yes I did. Oh you, you did. did. You, you did. did. I That's think right. he set us down one of our rabbit holes. So guys I did not. You can't prove that. <laughs> This is the Mayhem Show. I hope we lived up to our name. I hope we lived up to the wrestling part of it as well. I hope you were entertained. Hope you're having fun. 
with us. You can t- continue the conversation, of course, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Myself or Mad Mike or Riz or whoever's on the Twitter account uh, for the night watching wrestling. Sometimes, you know, late at night, early in the morning, whenever we can get to it, because there's a lot of damn wrestling out there. Uh, join the conversation with us. Uh, we have ideas. We have thoughts on wrestling, obviously. And sometimes I don't agree with Mike. Sometimes? But that's okay, because we're going to have a beer together this weekend. Um, that's going to go for great. So look out <laughs> for a hashtag Chachi Takes Manhattan. We're I'm just, bringing we're, my fake sword. Glasses. We're hanging. We're hanging Manhattan the whole time, aren't we? For the most part. Yeah. So yeah. we're 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 big citying it. Um, so, By the way, if you see any of us during the Chachi Bachelor Party weekend, and slap you slap us Mad Mike show, in the face. No, I was no? going to say you have to give birth. You have to give Chachi celebratory chops. Yes. Yes. Or kick him in the nuts. No, no, because his future wife needs those nuts. Oh, okay. It's a bachelor true. party. It's not a, a an initiation. <laughs> Just chops. Nice. Note to self: Don't send Jock Samson to Chachi's bachelor party. Today. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you imagine? Jeez. <laughs> oh God. I just did. Never mind. <laughs> There's Sorg. <laughs> I mean, you I should take just Flexor there and have him like. How many chops did Doc Remedy get on his birthday? <laughs> oh. From 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 current IWG tag team champ and uh, <laughs> current Raw didn't announcer they? and current. Uh, wow, wow! Look at didn't that current list. Current X Division champion Loki also dropped. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think he got Loki. Uh, Jay Lethal was hanging out, but he did not shop. He was just a spectator. Um, did you close out the show already? No, we're still going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.